Hey everyone! In this video, we'll take a look at the Line Clamp official plugin for Tailwind CSS. Let's jump right into it. So here we have this fictive skateboarding magazine with a blog section and then an about us section. As you can see, each article has a different length in the intro text, which results in a different height in the card. Now, we could have all the cards fill the height of the highest card, but let's say we want the text to be the same length. Sometimes the text will be truncated on the back end, sometimes on the front end when you fetch data. In this case, we're getting this raw text coming to us and we have to do it with CSS. So Tailwind currently has a truncate class, but it's not going to do exactly what we want here. If we go in the HTML and we find the article for the middle blog post, let's add the class truncate and see what happens. Now you can see the text being truncated on one line. And this is the only option with truncate. It's always going to truncate the text on the first line. What we want to do here is show a little bit more text and maybe truncate the paragraph after the third line so every card has the same length as this one. Now, there is a way to do this with CSS with the line clamp property, but you need to apply a few other properties to make it work properly. Here's the good news. There is now an official Tailwind CSS plugin to do just that. Let's install it and have a look at how it works. So let's do npm install at tailwind css slash line clamp. All right, now that it's installed, we're going to go in our tailwind config file and in our plugins array here, we're going to require at tailwind css slash line clamp. After that, we should be able to go back to our HTML and let's remove the truncate class and we should now have a few new line clamp utilities. So let's type line dash clamp and here we go, you can see we have options to clamp the text after one, two, three, four, five, or six lines. We also have a line clamp none to undo or unset the clamping. So let's try line clamp one, which should do the same thing uh, as the truncate. And yep, you can see that here. But now we should be able to select the number of lines we want. So let's try two. Yep, it works. Let's try with five now. And it works, but you can see because this text has only three lines, we again have this problem. So in this scenario, we should probably select line clamp three. So everything matches this card here. So I'll quickly remove this class here and then I'll select all three intro texts. And for each, I will apply the line clamp three class. And here we go. Now all our three cards are nicely aligned. And you can notice because the last one never reached the full three lines, it didn't get truncated. We've seen that out of the box, this plugin gives us options to clamp from one to six lines. To understand how to customize this plugin, let's go and add a few values ourselves. To add my own values, I'll go in the Tailwind config file and in theme.extend, because we want to keep the existing default values, I will create a line clamp object. In there, let's add a couple of values. So I'll go 10 and the string 10 and 12 as the string 12. Let's go back to our HTML. I'll duplicate this bit of text to make it long enough to be able to test the clamping. So now if we remove this line clamp three and have a look, you can see the middle article is really long. So let's try line clamp 10. And yep, it looks like it's clamped after 10 lines. I'll put the mouse right next to the ellipsis here to remember where we were. And let's try 12 now. And as you can see, there's an extra two lines added. So let me show you one more thing. Let's say for some reason, we want to truncate the text to three lines, but then reveal the whole text on hover. For each of the three paragraphs, I'll set the class of line clamp three, and then on hover, line clamp none. So let's try it and hover the card and nothing happens. The reason it's not working is the hover variant is not enabled by default by the line clamp plugin. So let's go and add it in our config file in variants.extend. I will once again target the line clamp key and this time pass an array of variants we want to add. And in our case, we want to add hover. Now, if we try it again, you can see that the whole text is revealed on hover. Not sure this is a great idea, but this shows you how you go about enabling new variants for the line clamp plugin. All right, let's quickly recap what we've done here. To be able to do multi-line truncating on our text, we have installed the at tailwind CSS slash line clamp plugin, and then required it here in our plugins array in the config file. This gave us default options for line clamp from one to six lines, and we were able to add custom values by targeting the line clamp key in the theme and passing values as strings. 
we were also able to enable new variants by targeting the line clamp key in the variants object. And that's it for this comprehensive tour of the line clamp plugin for Tailwind CSS. Thanks for watching. See you later.